Konnichiwa, and welcome to Tsuki no Ame, where we try Japanese sweets and treats. Today we have two treats to try from Sakura Co. We have a Hokkaido butter cookie, which should be pretty good. I'm looking forward to that. And then this is apparently called the milk and chocolate cookie, at least according to the information I was given. Uh, though here on the packaging, you might be able to see it is milk chocolate uh, sand. It is a, one of those sandwich cookies. According to the description I was given, it's filled with white chocolate filling. It looks to me like they were going for a uh, cookies and cream type of cookie with a vanilla cookie instead of a chocolate. I'm, I'm interested to see how this turns out. Uh, yeah, it should be pretty interesting. This should be fun. So let's get started. Itadakimasu! So first we're going to start with the Hokkaido butter cookie. Which I'm excited for because I actually like butter cookies. Yeah. Yep, there are two in here. And it looks like they both snap during shipping, which is actually kind of helpful for this. So it's very flat and thin. It's supposed to like melt in your mouth. Mm, it smells good. So it does melt in your mouth. Uh, one thing that I like, be because it does the whole melt away thing, which it, it's sort of a weird thing that I didn't know happened until I started this channel. Um, but one thing that I've noticed with butter cookies in the past is that they can kind of make your mouth really dry and kind of clog up, which is one of the few downsides to them. I really think they're delicious. Um, this one doesn't do that. It's also not nearly as sweet. It's actually kind of reminding me a bit of graham crackers in a weird way. I'm not entirely sure why. I, I feel like the butter flavor could be a bit stronger. It could be a bit sweeter. It's not bad. Um, it's not bad. If you like graham crackers, you might like it. Um, but it's admittedly, unfortunately, not my favorite butter cookie. But still, you know, fun to try. And I'm going to enjoy finishing them off because, well, even, even a butter cookie that isn't the best is still pretty good, right? So, all right, we're going to find out what's going on with this cookie here. Okay, they really made it crispy and darkened the outside. I'm not entirely sure why. It smells creamy. So we've had a lot of cookies that are this style on the channel, and honestly, they're all pretty good, right? The cookie is kind of crispy, it chews really nice, it's got that thick layer of the white chocolate. In this case, you know, it's just white chocolate, it hasn't been flavored with anything, not that I can tell. It kind of tastes a bit on the milky side. Um, honestly, it's pretty good. It's a lot sweeter than this. It's about as sweet as I was hoping uh, both of these would be. And yeah, it's just, if you, if you like this style of cookie and you like white chocolate, you know, I would absolutely reach for this again. Um, I've thought that these styles of cookies were pretty good. 
I've enjoyed them. And to me, it's just kind of added to the long list of these that we've tried uh, that have been really pretty tasty. I like it. It's really good. Um, yeah, if you like white chocolate, if you're kind of more on the vanilla end of the spectrum for flavors, definitely give that a shot. Really tasty. <laughs> really pretty good. Gochisola Sama. So again, we did the Hokkaido butter cookie, which um, it, it reminds me of graham crackers. <laughs> it really does. The melt away really does work, which is nice. Um, I think it could have definitely have been sweeter. It, it kind of got a little too close to that mid ground, like that graham crackers are in where it's not a salty kind of savory, end of cracker it's still just that little bit on the sweet side but it's also not that sweet at all um yeah uh, and then we did this milk and chocolate cookie where the name convention for this cookie is so weird it, it makes me think that they were trying to go for like that whole cookies and cream thing with just a vanilla cookie I feel like if they had gone more that it's just the milk sandwich cookie as opposed to and that might in fairness to the brand just be the way that it was packaged and labeled in the information that I was given um, but aside from that really tasty really delicious highly recommend uh, if you've been looking at those styles of cookies but haven't really seen a flavor that you thought you might like to try go with this one it's just stripped down to the basics, the cookie, white chocolate filling, and it delivers on them. It is very good quality, uh, unless you're somebody who really dislikes white chocolate, which, you know, there are people out there who do. That should be a really good introduction to that style of cookie to see if it's worth uh, trying to find a flavor that you would like, a fruit or of some sort that you would like better. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like my shirt, the link for that is down in the description below. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Jane.